Hello and welcome to High Cut Short Clip. In this video I'd like to show you new features in sheet metal. I'd like to start with the sheet metal ribbon where the placement of individual functions has been revised. For instance up here the function connecting sheet has been pulled in and all this has been summarized here in new. In addition, there is another complete revise, the flange along sketch function. If I'd like to attach a flange along sketch, I'm allowed to create a new sketch. And I'd like to do this down here in this area. Turn it in accordingly and start to draw my sketch in this given area where I would like to attach the flange. I apply the sketch, identify a connecting edge, which in this case is the outer connecting edge, and by doing so the flange can be attached. So far this has been one new feature. Another new feature concerns attaching a flange to, namely if there if a flange to be attached is larger than the actual base sheet. Once again I'd like to attach a flange here and I would specify the first point in this dialog which is relative from this point to minus x two hundred and the second point from here is 200 positive. Also here the connecting edge is important. And another thing is that a cutout can be created and applied in this flange. This has been another new feature and the next one concerns the data exchange function where the development to DXF has been revised. To show this I put a few developments in this drawing and now by looking at the ribbon we see that the export function has been summarized which makes it clearly arranged uh, without so many sub-functions. I still have the option to create a DXF as well as to choose a location for this file and to specify whether it should be saved as DXF, DWG or TOPS Geo. And as already known, I can develop all sheets and export them via this particular dialog where I can also change the general settings and here I can specify the saving format whether it should be saved in DXF or DWG or if I rather want to save it in DXF, LVG or even TOPS Geo. With this setting the necessary information is already entered. The other things are as usual. The file name can be created from the configuration or manually. The mode of development can be specified whether it should be complete as it is here with the bend angle or bend line. Also I can export the section contour for the respective laser. However here I'd like to export all sheets and get a result list with the exported things with prospective file name which comes from the configuration or it could be set manually. These are the options to export sheets. If I'd like to export sheets which are only in this drawing or sheet area, I can select them individually as shown with the general settings before meaning that I'd like 
these or I'd like these to be exported or all developments are to be exported. However, here I click on export and now I can close this. Additionally, a report should be issued so that it can be included in the drawing to provide further information, for example, for the employees of production. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.